Siri, you're making me go around in circles. Why are you doing this to me? What's going on? I've literally... Turn right onto Lighthouse Street. Right, right. Okay. <laughs> Hi guys okay so i am in australia and i have just received my van i'm relocating from cairns to ellie beach which is probably about a nine and a half hour drive away but i'm only gonna have it for three days it's an automatic which i don't usually drive so it's gonna be a bit strange but i'll get used to it i'm sure so yeah i need to pop into town and get a cable because oh my god they do not have a usb cable and the main thing i need is music when i'm driving but anyway, I'll take you on a little tour around the van now. It's a five berth van. Um, it's got a double bed here and then a, a double bed on the top as well. That's just me. It's just me. I'm doing it solo on my own. New challenge. Kind of a little bit nervous about driving the van, but I know I'm going to be fine. But anyway, let's show you that. This is the van. This is the company. This is the inside. Automatic, it's got a CD player, it's got three seats. This folds down, the gas is in there, this opens up, and this is the inside. Okay, so I have my kitchen utensils here, my fridge, sink, cooker, kettle, pans, even a microwave, toilet, a shower. <laughs> crazy and then this is the area where we sit um i say we me <laughs> uh so this folds out into a double bed obviously i've got my stuff in here and this is the the stuff that they've given me sheets blanket towels this is a double bed that folds out but i'm probably not going to use that and you get curtains and everything this is cutlery they package it all up um they give you pretty much everything you need to be fair uh cups no Plates and bottles, perfect. And then the cooker's like this little one. So yeah, I better get moving. <laughs> I guess I'm dragging it out a little bit too long. I need to just go, just go, Lauren. For God's sake. So yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this road trip with me, and we have lots of fun. It's just started raining, unfortunately, as well, which is so annoying. Before I do anything, the first leg of the journey. <laughs> I say journey. I literally have drove eight minutes down the road i feel good i've just like given the car like a test run basically it's super easy to to drive actually i say car it's a fucking van i mean it's a van yeah i feel comfortable driving it the only thing i haven't done yet is reversing but thankfully there's many windows around here there's a mirror that i can see out the back which is just perfect and like obviously i can look at my rear view my other other mirrors I'm gonna go and get a cable because my speaker is so damaged. It's like got a crack. Do you know what I mean? It's just like, oh yeah, I'm gonna connect now. And then it's like, oh no, I've disconnected. Oh, now I'm gonna connect. No, no. Bluetooth connected. I'm gonna go and get a cable. Oh, what the fuck? What's happened? This is so annoying. This is honestly a dream come true. Oh my god, I need to calm myself down because I literally feel like I'm gonna cry. Fucking hell! Oh my god! Ah. Guys, I'm so happy. <laughs> I cannot stop smiling! This is a dream come true. It just, I cannot stop smiling. Like, literally, I can't stop smiling. Like, this is just amazing! Oh, I literally am filling with tears right now because I'm so happy with the fact that, like, one of my dreams has become a reality. Like, I've manifested this shit. Oh, I need to stop. I've manifested this. I, like, dreamed about this for so long. 
and now it's finally happened and I'm just so fucking happy to be alive, baby. Oh my god. It's gonna be a good three days. Like, oh, I'm gonna feel so good after this. Oh, this is such a good feeling. I just can't even. I can't even explain how excited I am. Ah. So good, such a good feeling. Anyway, bye. Okay, so I just got to my first destination. I am at Babin Babinda. Babinda. I don't know where that is. <laughs> I'm really hungry, so I'm stopping for some food. I just got stuck in like the, the smallest town I've ever seen. <laughs> it was like so cute. But I don't really think there's much around, so I'm just gonna stop here, have some food, go for a pee. <laughs> After I've had some food, I might make a move and maybe do like another hour or two maybe an hour and a half because i've done like i think i've done like nearly an hour so maybe i'll do another one see if there's a nice cool place to stop up and stay for the night so yeah we'll check that out <gasps> how exciting i'm literally so excited this is like the best thing ever right now <laughs> anyway peace <laughs> So this is my campsite. So while my dinner is cooking, I'm going to make my bed. Um, <laughs> I've never done this before, so this is gonna be a test again. This really, really lovely couple who are also traveling, um, they've traveled up north from New South Wales. They live in Australia. Uh, they're also doing it in a van together. And they're super nice and they help me reverse my van into this spot, which is just like honestly perfect for me. And also they help me work my stove, so. Today is a good day. Um, I'm gonna make my bed and then have dinner and then I'm gonna sit down and do my evening diary, which I also wanna include in this video, so. No one's buying Chili with sweet potato, hummus, kale, and flatbread. Delicious. Wow, that lighting is terrible. So, I wanted to do a little short video diary at the end of each day, just kind of relating back on how the day made me feel and how I feel now. It's day one, it's now late in the evening. Wow, actually, it's not that late. It's now 8 pm. Um, I've cooked some food, I've ate my food and I've watched a bit, a little bit of Netflix and I've obviously made my bed and stuff so yeah but today has been really amazing like I couldn't stop smiling the whole time. Ugh. I mean it's this has literally been something I've thought about doing for such a long time and it's finally happening and it's it reminded me back when I had the feeling when I left home and I arrived in Bangkok and I felt like I needed to pinch myself because it didn't feel real. It was like something I dreamt of for so long and now it's finally come true. So manifestations are real, like you can manifest 100%. Right now I feel really, really good. I feel so happy. I'm so excited to wake up tomorrow morning because I have got the most beautiful view outside of that door. Literally, I, I imagined myself waking up in the morning in a van opening my door and looking right at the sea like i'm literally on the beach it's 
incredible i feel so lucky to have this opportunity and i really feel like because of what i'm doing and how cheap this is how i'm doing it in australia i'm going to share it with you guys eventually i'll make a video about how to get a camper van the way i did and it only being like one dollar a day but there's like loads of different terms and conditions so i'll make a separate video on that but yeah today i'm feeling good happy proud of myself i feel like i know this van now and i've been lucky enough to have this lovely couple that i've met here teach me how to do the stove and they help me park the van into this spot where i am now so thank you for that guys <laughs> but yeah anyway on to tomorrow i don't really know what to do yet i think what i'll do is i'll wake up early and i'll make a little plan i'll have some breakfast maybe walk down the beach here just make the most of it i feel like i'm gonna just hit stick to the coast and go from there and i'm so i know this sounds really ignorant but i'm so happy that i'm doing this on my own because i feel like we should all challenge ourselves to do something like this once in a while and honestly when i first got in the van i was nervous like i was totally nervous and i thought oh my god i'm not gonna be able to drive this i'm gonna struggle to you know get the bike there and brake and blah 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 blah, blah. anyway I feel like when you do things alone you have no distractions it's only you and your thoughts and you have to really focus on how to fix the solution you know so this is kind of why i wanted to do it so anyway i'm gonna hit the sack i'll see you good night guys oh, so